Uh, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss uh, well further into limit laws and basically prove uh, the constant multiple law which is law three in my uh, limit laws overview videos basically uh, the limit uh, this law states limit as x approaches a of c which is a constant times f of x equals to the constant times the limit as x approaches a of f of x all you do is basically take out the constant here and and then you could write, say this in words, uh, basically constant multiply, it could be stated as the limit of a constant times the function is the constant times the limit of the function. So that's how you could say it. And now uh, before I prove this, I just want to state this, uh, this is basically this limit law is in fact just a simple case of the product law, which I showed in my earlier video. And that's basically law four of the limit laws overview videos. And basically you can see the proof of this, which I proved uh, earlier uh, this week in the description below here so if we assume uh, so given the proof of it and that limit law states yeah that one states right here limit as x approaches a of fx times g of x is just the limit of fx as x approaches a times the limit as g of x is, uh, as x approaches a here so i proved this in my earlier video so we're going to use this and basically in this case we're going to let c equals to g of x right here and thus, if we uh, basically set c is equal to g of x and, and just plug it into this uh, formula right here, we're going to get limit as x approaches a yeah, of c times f of x, this is the new g of x, equals to limit of c, as x approaches a of c, the constant, times limit as x approaches a of f of x. So now this is our g of x right here. And so now we have this formula right here. And this one here, the answer to this one just equals to C. Yeah, this equals C. And this one's actually law seven from the limit laws part two video, which I go over this. But the proof of this one, this one's just pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is look at the graph. And when you look at the graph here, if you have G of X equals to C, this constant, this is just a, this difference is C right here. So as you can see, what as wherever, if this is A right here, so if we're approaching it from here or here, the value is always going to be C. So it's always going to be here. It doesn't matter where A is. It's always going to be this constant right here. So the, this one is pretty straightforward proof. So once we have that, we get basically our proof. And basically, this is our proof of it now. So we have limit as x approaches A of C times f of x equals to C times limit of f of x as x approaches A. So this is here, and then our proof is basically using the product law right here. Oh, yeah, this product law right here, which I proved in my earlier video, so we avoided precise definition uh, using the precise definition in this proof, but we I did use it in this one right here, so just make sure you watch this one. And uh, my video, I'll link it below in the description. Well, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this, uh, this quick little proof here, and also, um, yeah, you, know, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. Remember that? Uh, it's pretty useful. And also, anyways, uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.